Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the review about the Loop Deck Plus. That's an editing console for Adobe Classic CC, Aurora HDR and Adobe Premiere Pro CC. If it really helps to improve your workflow, we'll have a look at this in a second. But first of all, let's do the unboxing. That's the box from the front, Loop Deck. That's the back cover of the box. The Loop Deck photo editing console for Adobe Lightroom 7.4 or later. And you might use it with other editing softwares as well. You require Windows 7 8.1 or Windows 10 or greater, Mac OS 10.12 or later, an internet connection to download the Loop Deck software, USB 2.0 and it's 40 centimeters long, 15 centimeters wide and is just 4 centimeters thick and it weights 1.4 lips which is roughly 0.67 kilograms. Ta-da! That's how it looks like. It's made of a synthetic material, but it does not necessarily feel plasticky at all. So the buttons do have a nice resistance. They improved. If you have a look at the previous versions, the buttons have slightly changed. So here we have some colors on the previous one we didn't. And we have now tap out the Apple key control and the shift key. And all the buttons and dials have a nice resistance, which is good. Just below the loop deck, you have a, a small guide how to use the loop deck with your computer or Mac. Next thing you need to do is just plug the loop deck onto your USB port of your MacBook or your PC. Make sure to download the required software. That's the website of loop deck. And I guess it must be somewhere. That's the Mac version 2.4.4 and that's the Windows version 2.4.4. This one's a MacBook, so I need to download it for Macintosh. I'm here in the interface of Adobe Lightroom. And first thing you need to do is to go to your launch pad and launch the Loop Deck app. Now it says Loop Deck activated. That's one of the photos I was looking for. And before we, we, we have a look at the advantages of the Loop Deck, we're gonna start editing this photo just in Adobe Lightroom. So we're gonna add some shadows, some highlights, some contrast, play a little bit with the exposure, black and whites. And after that, we can see if there's any benefit having the loop deck instead of using your keyboard or your mouse by, for editing in Adobe Lightroom. What I really like about the loop deck is that you can work in full screen means you have contrast, clarity, shadows, highlights, and so on, and so on. And you can add these kind of things to your photo in full screen. And I don't really know if you can do that by having just a mouse and a keyboard. What you can tell straight away is that if you change something on the loop deck, it's quite sensitive. So if you have your mouse or your keyboard and you change anything, it, it goes from zero to 100 very quick. But on here you can go step by step. So one, two, three, four, five percent of contrast and so on and so on. So that's the first benefit of having the loop deck instead of your normal keyboard or your mouse that you can work more precise. So I add some clarity just a little bit. So let's say that's a little bit too much clarity. If you want to go back, just push the button and you reset the feature. Let's play a little bit around with the whites. That's a little bit too white. Here are the blacks. Let's see what happens here. Oof, that looks a little bit bleached out. Let's assume the saturation is not as we liked it. Just turn it up. A little bit more. And here um, the blue tones are coming back now. Let's say that's a little bit too much blue. Just turn it down. And you can see from the sky 
the colors are changing. Ah, actually, I'm now in hue. Let's go to saturation and get rid of the blues. Now I get completely rid of the blues. If you want to reset it, just press the button and here's a reset. What I really like about the full screen mode is that you can go to the next picture straight away with these arrow keys down here. That's the next photo. As you can see, it's well exposed. We try to add some shadows or we get rid of the shadows and add some contrast to that photo as well. And we try to add some blue colors onto the sky. So first of all, I'm gonna play around with the contrast. So let's add some saturation to the sky. So maybe that's a little bit too much. If you want to reset the blue sky, just push the button again. Here's the Who saturation and luminance. If you want to change the luminance, just press on that button. And as you can see, that's going to change. Ooh, that's a little bit too dark. Let's turn it up again. If you want to exit the full screen mode, just press on the screen mode again. You can use the control dial to flip the photo around. You can crop it if you want to. Let's add some more exposure to that photo. As you can see now it's well overexposed and to reset that feature you either press on exposure or press undo. Let's say you would like to have the same settings from that photo for your next photo as well. Just press copy, go to your next photo and say paste. And as you can see on the right side, you have exactly the same settings as on the other photo as well. That's also a really nice feature. You will be able to customize some of these buttons as well. For instance, if I press now C1, I mark this photo and if I want to unmark it, just press C2. And I'm pretty sure you will be able to change some of these things in the settings as well. These five buttons are rating for your photo. So this is one star, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars. And if you want to get rid of the rating, just tap on the last button once again. One more example for you guys. That's one photo I took at a shoemaker in Frankfurt. And I just want to give you another example. And this photo, it's a little bit too dark. So we turn up the exposure, add some clarity to the photo, maybe some contrast as well. Let's see what the whites do here. You can see it on the shoe down there. Add some highlights. Maybe the temperature a little bit more warm, like that. We can turn down the situation if you want to. And if you would like to see now how the photo looked like before we edited it, just press on the screen mode and then before after. And that's how it looked like before and that's after. And if you still want to do some editing on the photo, you, you'll be able to see how it looks like on the right side straight away. Let's assume you're done with your photo editing in Adobe Lightroom. Just press on the export button and from now on you'll be able to export your photos straight away. Most important question at the end of this review, is it worth getting the Loop Deck Plus? If you are a photographer and you do a lot of things in Adobe Lightroom, for instance, and you want to jump from one photo to the other very quick, if your workflow needs to be fast, it's a really nice and solid tool to have. It's small, it's not heavy, it's made of plastic, so you can take it with you at all times. It's about 230 euro, so think of it wisely. If you do photo editing once a week with one photo or something, it's not worth getting it. But apart from that, if you take a lot of photos, if you do a lot in Adobe Lightroom and you would like to be 
really precise in all the things you do it's worth getting it and make sure to check out the video description below for a direct link to that product. Thanks for watching and see you soon aus Frankfurt. Ciao!